Hey guys, thank you for the video for you guys. In today's video, I want to show you how to activate and set up your mini sixth generation. In this video, we're going to cover things as your installation of your SIM card and then setting it up all the way to the home screen so you can start using your iPad right away. So let's get started. So the mini sixth generation here comes in this nice little packaging. Now it is mini for a reason because it's small. And once you open it up, you'll see a couple things here. The mini here, which itself will look like this. This is the mini one I have. This is the pink color one, I believe. And as you can see here, nice little size. It is a mini one, which is really nice. It's just a bigger, if you think about a bigger form of one of those Max iPhones, but it's slightly bigger than that. And then here you have the charger and the cable that you will use, of course, to charge. Uh, but inside this package is one little tool that we will need if you open it up. So there's a couple things, the stickers and the safety and handling. But this little tool, which is known as a SIM ejector tool, will need this. Now, this is going to be included only if you have a cellular version. If you have only a Wi-Fi version, you won't need this. So keep that in mind. Just two versions of the Mini 6, the cellular one, and then the Wi-Fi only one, which doesn't have a data plan for it. So once you have that ready to go, all we'll do is... Simply, let's put this aside here so we have some room to work with here. Now, the very first thing is you want to locate the SIM slot, which is on the right-hand side at the bottom here. This is the SIM slot. So you'll take your tool that you receive, you put it in here and verify if you already have a SIM card in. If not, if you have a new SIM card in, we're going to push it in there. Take out that SIM tray. So we'll go ahead and take that out. And then it should be just like that. And what you want to do is get your SIM card. If you don't have one, you match up this cut corner that you see here, line it up so it sits flat, nice and easy, just like that. And then you're going to locate the hole again, match up the hole, and press it in until it's flush. Now we just have inserted or installed the SIM card. Now the next thing is to power it on. To power it on, there's a button up top here, which is the power button. We'll press and hold this button until we see the Apple logo appear. And that means the iPad is ready to go and it's starting off for the very first time. Now, when it does start up for the very first time, sometimes it might not have charged. So make sure you're charged up if it doesn't turn on right away. You get to this main screen, which is a hello screen, will swipe up and then you will want to select the language and then the country or region, which we'll select that. And then you click on setup manually. Now, the very first thing you'll need to do is connect it to either Wi-Fi or your computer, but it'll need internet connection in order to get set up. So I'll select my network here, and then I'm going to quickly just put in my home network password, and this is going to be your password for your Wi-Fi, and you're going to hit that join option and connect to your Wi-Fi. And then it will say it takes a few minutes to activate, but generally doesn't take that long, about 20 to 30 seconds, and we should see the next screen here. So so you just have to be a little patient on this. Another quick uh, tip is that if you don't have this official SIM tool, you can also use like a paper clip, bend it over, bend it like this to be able to insert it in there. Just a FYI for someone um, maybe that's missing it or you bought it maybe secondhand or something and it didn't include that tool. So as you can see here, it's still looking to activate for us, which is totally fine. There's nothing to worry about. Again, just have to be a little patient with this step. And the next step we get is the data and privacy. We'll hit continue here. And then you want to touch, set up your touch ID. So the touch ID works on the top here. So what you'll do is put your finger down on the top here so you can use it. So it will just put your finger, you know, so it can verify your finger so that if you want to unlock it, you can pretty much uh, do it. So multiple times, you're going to just lightly tap. Don't want to press anything. So it's going to be a light tap on and off till it recognizes all of your fingers. And then it will want to do another one, which you want to do sides. So it covers the size, the different angles that you have on your finger. Probably have to do it like 10 to 15 times, depends on how long it takes. And then you're going to hit continue. And now you can add another fingerprint if you like. So if you want like another fingerprint on this side, you can. Maybe if you want to use your left hand or maybe another thumb or something. Or you can only set up another one later. We'll just hit later here. And then you want to put in a passcode. Of course, make sure it's uh, as complicated as it is or as 
unique it is so that someone can't do it. So I'm just entering any old pass code on it, but that is for your thing. Now, the next thing you wanna do is set up your data. So if you have a previous iPad, you can transfer all of that information from it. If you have iCloud backup, you can also use the iCloud backup. If you have it on your phone or something, you can do that. Or you can simply set up completely new. I'm just gonna set up the don't transfer the data thing. Now, the next thing you wanna do is go ahead and sign into or Apple ID if you have an existing one, which is best recommended if you have other Apple devices. But you can choose to also create one for on this iPad that's separate. The thing is that it will make things a little complicated, but I recommend if you're using the same Apple ID just so that you can sync between devices more seamlessly. So you wanna go ahead and put your Apple ID and set it up, and then it's gonna ask for your password. For our purposes, we're just gonna skip that step. But this is what I mean by if you don't have one, you can click on, if you forgot your passcode, or password, you can always reset your password. You can create a free one or set up later in the settings. You can always come back to the setting and set it up. So we'll just select that and not use it, but highly recommend that you sign into it so you can use all the Apple services like downloading and installing apps, FaceTime, iMessage, and much more. And then it's the quick little message about keeping your iPhone up to date. We're just gonna hit continue. Location services, you wanna ensure that the location service is on if you wanna use some of the functionalities like maps and find my, here I'm just gonna disable it just for the sake, but of course it's all your preference. And then Siri, you wanna hit continue and then it'll go pick a voice that you like for Siri. Hi, I'm Siri, choose the voice. And then you can select between it and then you go through this step here where you'll say five different commands. So it said, hey Siri, hey Siri, send a message. Hey Siri, how's the weather today? Hey Siri, set a timer for three minutes. Hey Siri, play some music. Now we have set up Siri so that each time we say, hey Siri, it can listen for our unique voice and do the command. So we'll hit continue here. Now improving Siri and dictation, you can share the audios with Apple so they can improve their product, but I generally don't, but up to you. Screen time is a weekly report that you can get, which again, it's fine if you want. iPhone analytics, if you want to share your analytics with Apple, uh, they allow just to improve their product. I usually don't, but you can share it. And then appearance, you have a version of light or dark. You can choose between either or. I usually just stick with the light. Again, personal preference. And then all you do is get started. And as you can see, we're ready to go. We're in the main screen and we just access our uh, iPad now and we're all set up. If you have a SIM card in, you'll get cellular data. Or if you don't have it, if you have a Wi-Fi version, you'll see you have Wi-Fi, you can start browsing. Uh, and then if you need to start downloading apps, go to the app store and click on here. And then you wanna go ahead and search for the apps or see the apps that you wanna download. Go ahead and search them up, your favorite app and download them. If you don't want that, you, of course, you can browse around with Safari as well. That's another option, but you're pretty much good to go with this iPad. And like I said, if you didn't sign into your Apple account, you can go ahead and sign in again here, but you'll need to sign in or to even download any apps on your iPad. And that's it for setting up your iPad mini 6th generation. I hope this video was helpful. If so, please make sure to like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys next time.